Whether it's Twitch, YouTube, TikTok, or podcasts with friends, more people than ever are looking to begin their journey as a content creator. With that journey comes the quest for equipment. While many of us are susceptible to the allure of high-end electronics, it's unreasonable to spend several hundred dollars for a good microphone and mixer. Enter FiFine, a fantastic lesser well-known audio peripherals company. With the Ampligame AM8 microphone and an SC3 mixer, content creators can get access to quality production gear without having to put too many dents in their wallet. And it comes with plenty of RGB too if you want it. On behalf of Geeks Under Grace, I'm Joe with Coffee and Adventure, and this is the review of the Fifine AM8 microphone and SC3 mixer. We want to give a huge thank you to Fifine for providing these review units to Geeks Under Grace. Let's start where the vast majority of streamers and podcasters are going to look, at the microphone. In recent years, more and more big companies have released microphones targeting content creators. These are typically either XLR or USB and can range from $50 into the hundreds. With the AM8 from Fifine, you get the best of both worlds. If you just have a computer and want to start streaming, the AM8 is a great choice. It can plug into a USB port and you're ready to go in a couple of minutes. On the other hand, if you have a mixer or existing audio interface and you want to plug that into it, the microphone is capable of an XLR connection too. While it might not match the audio quality of the Shure SM7B, a microphone six to eight times as expensive, for less than $60, it sounds great. And you can hear that in the following clips, along with some audio from Elgato's Wave 3 for comparison. The one caveat I would offer is with regard to background noise. While it doesn't have some of the built-in hardware of more expensive competitors, much of that can be overcome with software like RTX Voice, SteelSeries GG, or even just using filters in OBS. Here at Rockwell Automation's world headquarters, research has been proceeding to develop a line of automation products that establishes new standards for quality, technological leadership, and operating excellence. With customer success as our primary focus, work has been proceeding on the crudely conceived idea of an instrument that would not only provide inverse reactive current such an instrument comprised of Dodge gears and bearings, Reliance electric motors, Allen Bradley controls, and all monitored by Rockwell software is Rockwell Automation's retro encabulator. Now, basically the only new principle involved is that instead of power being generated by the relative motion of conductors and fluxes, it's produced by the modial interaction of magneto reluctance and capacitive directance. The original machine had a base plate of prefabulated amulite surmounted by a malleable logarithmic casing in such a way that the two spurving bearings were in a direct line with the panometric fan. For those of us who've been around the block for a while and are looking to upgrade our setup or utilize an XLR microphone or make managing audio easier on a second machine, a mixer is the most sensible option. The best budget-minded folks could hope for before was to get a TC Helicon Go XLR Mini at about $185. With Fifine's Ampligame SC3, you can get much of that same functionality for $55, and I've seen it on sale for as little as $40 at times. While it's not perfect, the SC3 is more than worth what they're asking for it. With it, you can take an XLR microphone or even a gaming headset with an 8mm plug and audio in from another source using an 8mm plug and control their audio on the fly using sliders. You can monitor everything through headphones and pump all of that out to an external source like speakers or another computer, and it's all in one convenient place. While it's not the highest quality, there are a few fun features built into this mixer that you can use to liven the experience. It can distort your voice with 11 electronic sounds and five voice changers, though Admittedly, your mileage may vary with some of this. I thought the baby one was fun, though. <laughs> Finally, for the jockeys that like to have a handful of audio clips at the ready, the SC3 has four custom buttons that can be used to record and recall up to 15 seconds of audio at a moment's notice. Bradley, I do have some minor qualms with the unit. 
I noticed that at one point my audio was out of sync with my video, but I added a 200 millisecond delay to the mixer in OBS and we were back in business. That said, for the asking price, this hardware is a still. Word to the wise though, if you hear buzzing from a line in, try a different auxiliary cable. Before getting my hands on these units, I'd never heard of Five Pine. When I saw the price point they were offering this hardware for, I assumed this is something I'd set in my closet and never use again. I've been pleasantly surprised to see a small brand that could be poised to make a real impact in the space. Coffee and Adventure gives both the Fifine Amplegain AM8 microphone and the SC3 mixer a 4 out of 5. If we've earned it, be sure to subscribe and let us know what you thought of our review. You can also follow us on Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, and TikTok for more of our content. Be sure to head on over to geeksundergrace.com for more great video game, tabletop, and hardware reviews, community, podcasts, and more from a Christian perspective.